Uh, it, all of us desire to be passionate followers, but it's so easy to get comfortable. It's so easy to become a passive observer, and you don't even notice it's happening. It, it happens to all of us. You, you just get comfortable, and um, I mean, you, you, you kind of take Jesus for granted, like he's He's always there, right? He said, I will never leave you. I will, I will never forsake you. And you just get comfortable. And I believe this is exactly what has been happening in the American church. We become comfortable, and the American church has become passive. We become passive observers. It's, it's what I would call um, the Sunday church. Like, you look at this. Let me, here's an example. I think this is what has is, is happened. Like, in the 1940s and 50s, pretty much it seemed like everybody went to church. Um, and that was just the thing. You did. Even if you weren't a follower of Jesus, you, you went to church. And then the next day, you'd go to work and you'd talk about your experience at church. And that's not the case anymore. In fact, people that don't know Jesus, they don't even attend. They don't even come on Sundays anymore. They're not, in fact, people who don't know Jesus, they got up this morning, they weren't, it wasn't even on their radar to even think remotely about church. What's crazy, though, is uh, research has showed us, and, and survey after survey is revealing that that's not just on people who are not coming to church, but it's those who are coming to church. Like, those who would call themselves committed Christians are becoming more and more passive. They're, they're attending church less and less frequently. In fact, most surveys show that, and, and research shows that committed Christians are coming every other week or watching online every other week. And, and those who would say that they're, they're a follower of Jesus, they're not, they're not like, like crazy hardcore, but, they're, but they follow Jesus, they believe in Jesus, and, and, and they've been baptized, they would say, well, I, they go to church about every six to eight weeks, almost every other month, or they're online just occasionally. And, and, and what the result of that is that fewer and fewer people are connecting. In fact, what we're seeing is, is that people in the church in America, it's becoming very individualized. Like, I, I don't really need to connect. I can just, I can sit at home by myself. I don't, I don't really need other people. I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine, which is exactly what the enemy wants you to do. And less and less people are connecting and getting into what we would call a core group, into a community of, of believers as we were, we were called by Christ to do, as he modeled for us. And, and then as a result of that, fewer and fewer people are inviting. They're not like Christians and followers of Jesus aren't really thinking about their friends and their neighbors and their coworkers who don't know Jesus. And as a result, the, the world doesn't know and the result, they're not coming and they're not, because they're not being invited. And then we see then less and less people, very, very few people are actually serving, like serving in the church and serving in the community, thinking about serving others. And what has happened is, is it's taking the American church from being passionate followers to becoming passive observers. And the impact on the world, as you can see, is just very, very small. And it's the world that's paying the price. I mean, we see it, chaos and confusion and brokenness and heartache and pain and, and divisiveness and, and injustice and depression and, and addiction on and on and on. This has happened on our watch, and we are the ones who are responsible. I want you to turn to somebody wherever you are and tell them, it is time to engage. It's time to engage. It's time to go from passive observers to passionate followers. And this is what I love about the people of Core Church. This is what I love about you because our church refuses to be like the norm. Our church says, no, we will not, we will fight against being passive. We will not be passive, but we will be passionate because we know that people desperately need the hope and the healing and the peace and the purpose of Jesus.